Surprisingly, it's easy to train betta fishes. Betta fish are intensely curious by nature. Training your betta fish is good to keep them active and engaging. These tricks are really fun to teach. Also, greatly improve bonding experiences between you and your betta fish. In this video, we are going to see the most interesting betta tricks like feeding them from your hand, teaching them to jump, swimming through hoops, and many more. If you are viewing this for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and check out the channel page for more content. Let's get started. Bettas are clever little fish, but that doesn't mean you can get most out of your training sessions. Fish have short attention spans, so we recommend starting with 5 minute sessions. You can work your way up to 10 minutes once your betta gets used to their new training schedule. Please do not tease your fish and be sure to reward all the tiny progressions that your betta fish makes. Some betta will get the hang of these tricks fast and some may take a bit longer. Be patient, and you will be amazed by what these smart little guys and girls can achieve. Here we begin with some interesting tricks that your betta can learn. Get your betta's attention, level, easy. Although it might surprise you, betta fish can recognize you. They actually can become attached to their owners. They are more likely to recognize you once you start spending time near your fish. If you have just acquired your betta, Give it at least a week to recognize you. You will know that your betta is ready if he or she starts swimming towards you if he sees you. Follow the finger, level easy. One of the easiest is teaching your fish to come to you when you want them to. Drag your finger across the front of the fish tank, softly tap on the glass and see if he looks at your hand. If betta moves towards it, reward her quickly with a treat. If your betta does not notice you, shake your finger until betta notices. Move your finger in multiple directions. First, move your finger to opposite sides of the tank. Next, move your finger vertically up and down. Reward your fish each time she follows you. Train for 3 to 5 minutes at a time over several days. Proceed to other tricks once she consistently follows your finger. Once your betta can follow your finger, teaching other tricks will be easier. Train your betta to flare, level easy. Betta flaring provide them an exercise prevents boredom and promotes bubble nest building. Only perform the flare trick 3 to 5 minutes a day or you can overexert your betta. Gather a small mirror and a red or black capped pen. Use the same colored pen throughout training so your betta will recognize the pen. Once your betta flares, place the pen next to the tank glass. Repeat this process 2 to 3 more times. Sometimes your betta will get afraid and may move away. Keep on trying. Give your betta food or a treat each time your betta flares. You can use a pen, stick, mirror, or other betta fish near to perform this exercise. Eat from your hand, level intermediate. After your betta has learned to swim up to your hand when they want a treat, put a piece of food on your fingertip and place it in the water. Your fish should gobble it right up. Gradually you can transition to holding the food slightly underwater in your finger. Try feeding your betta a food they like while training them. Betta may even jump if you hold blood worms or insects above the water level just a bit. Jump for a treat, level hard. Bettas tend to do this naturally in the wild as they attack food on the water surface. So you just have to tap into their natural instinct. Place a pellet under your fingernail or try putting some water on your finger and place the pellet on the water, it should stick. Wiggle your finger just above your water to get your betta's attention. Your betta may jump at your finger. If the betta jumps reward with the pellet. Sometimes bettas are not interested right away. Keep trying and be patient. Wait for your betta to become interested. You may have to stick the tip of the pellet and the water and wait for the betta to touch your finger or the pellet. When they do reward them with the pellet, after a few days of doing this, raise your finger with the pellet above the water and repeat same steps. If your betta jumps, they will continue to do this as long as they get a reward. Keep practicing but don't do it too often. You should never overfeed your betta. Try not to exceed your daily pellet maximum. Remember to practice a few times a day to keep things fresh. Swim through hoops, level hard. Make a hoop out of a pipe cleaner or a piece of plastic. Figure out what your betta likes to eat most and use that as bait. Hang the hoop in the tank so that the betta can swim through it. Move the bait to encourage the betta to swim through the hoop. As your betta becomes more and more comfortable swimming through the hoop, raise it little by little until the bottom of the hoop is just touching the water's surface. With enough practice, your betta may jump out of the water and through the hoop to get a food reward. 
You can also try placing both hands inside the tank and using a bite of food to lure your fish through the hoop. Again, this one takes practice, and not all fish manage it. Remember not to overfeed your betta fish. A few treats for training are just fine, but don't overfeed the fish or it could cause illness or death. This is one of the most difficult tricks, so do not be discouraged if it takes a while. There are some ready-made betta training kits also in the market which you can try. Betta toys, level intermediate. Try adding bobbing objects to the top of the tank. Get a small floating toy or a fishing bobber. Make sure the toy is clean before you place it in the water. Put a small plastic ping pong ball on the top of the tank. See what the betta does. Some betta will push it around their tank. If the betta doesn't play with the ball immediately, give your fish some time to get used to it. There are a lot of ready-made betta toys available in pet stores you can directly buy it try them as well. Marina betta ornament, Zoomed floating betta log, and our two fish school kit are some ready-made betta toys you can find in online to buy. Feed your betta live food. This is a great way to entertain your fish. Fish or aquarium-specific stores often offer live worms that most betta will chase with zeal. Always feed your betta a balanced, varied diet. Too many treats or meals will not be good for your fish, but they can be given once in a while with no problem. You just don't want to feed them too much and get them sick. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We do publish aquarium videos every week, so do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive all our future updates. We do check all our comments in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a comment on what's your favorite beta training trick. Thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next video.